I'm going to present the technique of intraosseous infiltration with PRP for the treatment of severe hip osteoarthritis. The infiltration is performed in the operating room under anesthetic sedation. The skin references are drawn and the infiltration area is prepared with betadine and sterile drapes. First we perform the intraarticular injection. Infiltration is guided by ultrasound. We use an 18G needle which is orientated in the same direction as the anterior lateral distal arthroscopic portal. Once the needle has been inserted into the joint space, 8 milliliters of PRP is injected. It is recommended to perform the infiltration with 30 degrees of joint flexion which will open the anterior capsule of the hip joint, thereby facilitating the infusion of the PRP infiltration. Then we do the intraosseous astebular infiltration that is performed with the guidance of a fluoroscope which will provide the AP view of the hip joint. An 11 gauge bone biopsy trocar is introduced 3 centimeters proximal to the joint marks previously drawn and in line with the anterior lateral arthroscopic portal. The trocar is placed into the cranial caudal direction at an inclination of 20 degrees and in parallel to the horizontal plane and then pushed until the lateral astabular wall is reached. With the help of a hammer, the trocar is introduced into the astibulum until it is situated one centimeter from the articular line. Five milliliters of PRP is then introduced intraosseously. We perform the intraosseous femoral head infiltration. Following the direction of the anterior arthroscopic portal, the 11 gauge trocar is introduced into the head of the femur. The point of entry through the skin portal is situated one centimeter lateral to the sartorial muscle in order to avoid lesions of the femoral cutaneous nerve during the infiltration. The entry point on the femoral head is in the union of the femoral neck and head in order to prevent damage to the articular cartilage. With the assistance of the hammer, the trocar is introduced one centimeter from the joint line. Five milliliters of PRP is then introduced intraosseously. Finally, after completion of the infiltrations and removal of the sterile drapes, the skin is cleaned with an alcohol solution with application of wound dressings at the infiltration points. Ice is then applied to the site. In the days after surgery, the patient can bear weight and take analgesics, astaminophen, as required for the pain. Two more intraarticular PRP infiltrations of 8 milliliters each are performed 7 and 14 days after the first treatment.